Hello everyone, this is Sir Alan Medino and for this day we will be going to tackle about Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Module 1, Week 1, Addition and Subtraction of Fraction. Are you ready? Now let's start! But bago tayo magsimula, ay nais muna natin pasalamatan ang Department of Education Division of Lano del Norte, specifically the school's division superintendent, Dr. Edelberto L. Opelinaria, CESO 5, and also to the development team of the module, the writer, Mom Ingrid and Peñaflor, the illustrator and the layout artist, the proofreader, in-house content and language editors, the management team from Chip chairperson, co-chairperson, and to the members and also to the regional evaluator, thank you so much for coming up with this module so that everyone, every learner can learn through this module. So for the continuation of our lesson, let's proceed to the lesson number two, subtraction of fractions. So what you need to know after we will going to finish this module. Number one, you can subtract dissimilar fractions. Number two, you can subtract mixed numbers. And number three, you can develop perseverance in doing tasks with speed and accuracy. So alam naman natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng dissimilar fraction. When we talk about dissimilar fraction, those are fractions na hindi magkakapareho ang kanilang denominator. At yung similar fraction naman ay ang mga fraction na pareho ang kanilang denominator. At ang mixed number ay ang mga fraction na may halong whole number. I know na alam nyo na yan kahit magpapatuloy na tayo sa ating leksyon. Pero before natin pag-ausapan ang ating subtraction of fraction, ay may pasasagutan muna ako sa inyo na multiple choice, number 1 to 7. At ang number 8 to 10 naman ay kayo yung magbibigay sa akin ng solution. So, you can perform the indicated operation and express your answer in the simplest form. Write your answers in your working notebook. So, merong tatlong numbers dyan. Number 1, what is the difference of 2 fourths and 1 third? A, 3 twelfth, B, 5 six, C, 1 six, D, 1 fourth. Number 2, what is the value of 4 fifth minus 2 thirds? A, 11 fifteen, B, 2 fifteen, C, 1 fifteen, or D, 3 and 10. Number 3, evaluate 5 six minus 4 nine. A, 7 18, B, 1 18, C, 5, 18, D, 1, 6. Now, let us continue with number 4. 7, 8, minus 1, 4, minus 1, half. A, 1, 12, B, 1, 4, C, 1, 6, or D, 1, 8. Number 5. What is 4 and 2 thirds minus 1 and 4 fifths? A, 3, 7, and 15. B, 2, 7, 15, C, 3, 2, and 15, or D, 2, 13, and 15. Number 6, what is the value of 4 minus 1 fourth? A, 4 and 3 fourth, B, 3 and 3 fourth, C, 3 and 1 fourth, D, 4 and 1 fourth. Number 7, what is 3 and 1 half minus 2 and 1 third? A. 1 and 1 sixth. B. 1 and 5 sixth. C. 1 and 2 sixth. Or D. 1 and 2 third. For numbers 8 to 10, you have to evaluate the fraction and show your complete solution. So, kayo ang magsusolve at kailangan yung ishow ang complete solution. Don't you worry because I'm just testing if alam nyo kung paano mag-solve. For number 8, 2 thirds minus 1 fifth equals N. For number 9, 3 and 2 tenths minus 1 and 1 fourth equals N. And for number 10, 2 and 5 sixths minus 3 fourth 
equals n. Good luck, grade 6. I know that you can do it. So for activity number one, you have to paint the flower. So you have to color the sum of the fraction in the parts of the flower. Halimbawa, ang number one, 2 and 6 plus 2 and 4. Ang sagot niya na makikita niyo sa flower ay kailangan yung kulayan ng color red. And so on and so forth. Hanggang tama ang mga kulay na inyong ibibigay. Now, what's new? You have to do the activity number two entitled, Who Won the Race? So this is now the situation. Two ball strings are in a race. Ball string A runs to fifth kilometer per hour, while ball string B runs one half kilometer per hour. Who do you think will won the race between the two ball strings? How much faster the winner ball runs than the loser ball? Present the fraction strips of the two ball strings. Now, based on the situation, we will be making a fraction strips. Pag may, may nakita kayo dyan ngayon sa baba na merong one big rectangle, rectangle dyan na kailangan natin gawan ng fraction strips. So, ano ba yung fraction strips? Ito yung magre-represent ng fraction sa nakita nating situation. So, merong ball string A at ball string B. Sinabi sa situation kanina na si ball string A ay 2.5 kilometers per hour ang kanyang takbo. Samantalang si ball string B ay 1.5 kilometers per hour ang kanyang takbo. So, yung mga fraction na dalawa na yan, yan ang gagawa natin ng fraction strips. Now, to see who won the race between two ball strings, we need to illustrate their speed. So, ito na. Gagawin na natin yung fraction strip. So, ball A has two-fifth fraction and ball B has one-half fraction. Ngayon, kung nakikita ninyo sa fraction strip ng ball A, yung isang rectangle ay hinati sa lima. Bakit sa lima? Because ang denominator ng two-fifth ay five. Ngayon, kung napapansin ninyo, ang shaded part ay dalawa kasi yung numerator niya ay dalawa. Samantalang sa 1B, hinati sa dalawa at sinade sa isa. Ngayon, based on the illustration above, we can tell that ball string B is faster than ball string A. Therefore, ball string B won the race. Now, tingnan ninyo ang fraction strip. Sino ang pinakamalakas or mabilis? So, natit, nakikita natin na si ball B. Therefore, siya yung nanalo sa race. Ngayon, sa tanong na how much faster is ball string B than ball string A then? To answer this question, we need to subtract two fractions, one half and two fifth. Now, observe. Tingnan nyo ngayon ang fraction strip ni ball A at ni ball B. Kung nakikita nyo ngayon, may mga broken lines na. Notice that we can divide the strips into that part above. So kung gaano karami yung o kung gaano kalaki yung broken lines na nasa taas, ganun din ang gagawin natin ng pag-divide sa mga fraction strips na nakikita natin dito sa baba. Now, the ball A is 4 over 10 and the ball B is 5 over 10. Now, the difference is 1 and 10. Therefore, ball string B is 110 km an hour faster than ball string A. Yun ang ginamit natin ay ang fraction strip. Now, how are we going to solve this using the computation? So, magiging ganito. 1 half minus 2 fifth. Ang sabi natin ng addition ay hindi pwedeng mag-add kung dissimilar fraction. Same pa rin ang ang rule na yon pagdating sa subtraction of fraction. So what are we going to do? We must find first the least common denominator. Paano natin hanapin sa least common denominator? Maglista tayo ng kanilang mga multiples. So yung dalawang denominator natin na si 2 at 5, hahanapan natin ng mga uh, what is this? Ng kanilang mga multiples hanggang sa makita natin yung parehong number na pinakamaliit na pwedeng makamultiply sa kanilang dalawa. So, let's start with 5. Ang mga multiples ni 5 ay 5, 10, 15, and so on and so forth. 
Samantalang ang mga multiples ni 2 ay 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, notice na merong dalawang number dyan na pareho. Ang nandyan kay 5 at nandyan kay 2, which is number 10. Therefore, the LCD of 5 and 2 is 10. Ngayon, i-re-replace na natin si 2 at si 5 sa puro 10 na denominator para maging similar fraction na sila. So, magiging ganito. 1 half minus 2 fifth equals blank over 10 minus blank over 10. Take note na pareho na ang kanilang denominator. So, paano natin ngayon i-add ang numerator? Magiging ganito. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Now, ang answer niyan ay multiply mo sa numerator ni 2 na si 1. So, 5 times 1 equals 5. So, ang dating 1 half naging 5 10 na. Ang pangalawang fraction, 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. So, ang dating 2 fifth ay naging 4 10. Ngayon, alam na natin na pareho ang kanilang denominator. So, pwede na siyang isubtract. Isasubtract na natin ngayon ang dalawang number na numerator. So, 5 minus 4 over 10. So, the answer is 1 and 10. Now, based on the answer, ball string B is 1 10 kilometers are faster than ball string A. Just like in addition of the similar fractions, we also need to change the fraction into similar fraction to subtract. So, ito na yung sinabi ko kanina. Hindi tayo makakasubtract ng fraction kung hindi pareho ang kanilang denominator. Paano natin ipareho ang kanilang denominator? Simple. We need to find the least common denominator LCD. Paano natin makita ang kanilang LCD? Simple ulit, maglista tayo ng mga multiples ng mga number at hanapin natin yung pinakamaliit na parehong multiple nila, automatically, yun ang LCD. Now, to subtract the similar fraction, yun ang sinasabi ko. I have an example here. Find the difference of 7, 9, and 2 third. So, eto na, hindi pa rin sila similar fraction. Kasi ang kanilang denominator ay 9 at saka 3. So, 7, 9 minus 2 third. So, hanapin natin ang kanilang LCD. Ilista natin ang mga multiples ni 9. 9, 18, 27. Ang mga multiples ni 3, 3, 6, 9. Na notice natin na parehong may 9 silang dalawa. Kaya ang LCD nila ay 9. At ang gagamitin nating bagong denominator ngayon ay 9. Ngayon, Paano natin ilalagay ang numerator? I-de-divide natin ngayon ang 9 sa dating denominator. Example, sa 7, 9, 9 divided by 9 equals 1. Ang answer na yan ay multiply natin sa numerator na 7. 1 times 7 equals 7. So, ang dating 7, 9 ay 7, 9 pa rin. Ngayon, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Imumultiply natin siya sa numerator na 2, 3 times 2 equals 6. So, ang dating 2 third ay naging 6 over 9. So, magiging ganito na ang formula ngayon. 7, 9 minus 6, 9. Isasubtract na natin ang parehong numerator. 7 minus 6 over 9 equals 1 and 9. Nakuha nyo ba? Very good. To let you more understand the lesson, may mga iba pang examples akong ibibigay sa inyo. So, example number 2. What is the value of 8, 11, minus 2, 5? Again, this is the similar fractions. Bakit sila the similar fractions? Kasi hindi pareho yung number na nasa baba or ang number na denominator. Ang mga numbers ay 11 at 5. Paano natin ngayon ibabalanse or gagawin nating similar fraction ang mga fractions na ito? Simple. Hanapin natin ulit ang least common denominator by listing their multiples. So, ililista na natin ngayon ang multiple ni 11 at ang multiple ni 5. So, ito ang mga multiple ni 11. 11, 22, 33, 44, and 55. Samantalang ang mga multiples ni 5 ay 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, 55. 
So, meron ng number na magkapareho silang dalawa, which is 55. Therefore, the LCD of 11 and 5 is 55. So, pag nakita na natin ngayon dyan, ang denominator nilang dalawa ay naging 55 na. Ngayon, paano natin lalagyan ng bagong numerator? E de divide natin ang bagong denominator sa naunang denominator at ang answer ay mumultiply natin sa naunang numerator para makabuo tayo ng panibagong numerator. Eto na, 55 divided by 11 equals 5. 5 times 8 equals 40. Now, 55 divided by 5 is equals to 11 and then 11 times 2 equals 22. So, meron na tayong similar fraction. 40 over 55 minus 22 over 55. So, 40 minus 22 is equals to 18 over 55. Therefore, that is the answer. Again, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-subtract ng mga fraction unless pareho ang kanilang denominator. That's the ultimate rule in subtraction of fractions. Now, I'll be giving you another example. Subtract 3 and 1 half minus 2 and 1 third. Ano ba ang napapansin ninyo sa bago nating example? Tama, meron na siyang whole number. So, it is a mixed number na ngayon. So, paano ba tayo magsasubtract ng mga whole number? Simple. Ang first step, igugrupo natin ang dalawa. Unahin natin sa paggrupo yung whole number at saka ang fraction. Hindi pwede na mag-subtract ka whole number minus fraction. Kailangan maging fraction muna ito bago kayo maka-subtract. So, 3 at saka 2 ang mga whole number. So, i kung nakikita ninyo dyan, ay nahiwalay sila sa bracket. 3 minus 2 plus 1 half minus 1 third. Ngayon, hindi pa rin pareho ang denominator ng dalawa. Kaya, kailangan natin silang ipareho by finding their least common denominator na inexplain ko kanina. Now, after listing their multiples, nakita natin na si 6 ang kanilang LCD. So, paano natin ngayon idadagdag ang ating bagong numerator? So, 6 divided by 2 equals to 3. 3 times 1 is equals to 3. 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2, and 2 times 1 is equals to 2. So, maging 3, 6 minus 2, 6. Ngayon, minus na natin ang dalawang group, yung group ng whole number at ang group ng fraction. So, 3 minus 2 is equals to 1, and 3, 6 minus 2, 6 is equals to 1, 6. So, 1 plus 1, 6 is equals to 1 and 1, 6. Okay, this is an example of another uh, subtraction. Subtract 4 and 2, 6 minus 1 and 3, 4. So, pareho pa rin yung example number 3. Ihiwalay natin yung whole number sa fraction. Hanapin natin yung LCD. Maglagay tayo ng banibagong denominator at numerator. I-minus na natin sila. Yun ang sagot. So, in, in the equation 4 and 2, 6 minus 1 and 3, 4, the answer is 2, 7, and 12. Okay, this is now our lesson. To subtract mixed number, ito yung mga importante mga bagay na dapat nating pag-aralan. Group the whole numbers and the fractions separately. Ihiwalay natin yung mga whole numbers sa mga fraction. Change the similar fractions to similar fraction and then subtract the whole number and the fraction separately. Borrow from the whole number if needed. So, pwede tayong mag-borrow ng 1 sa whole number kung kinakailangan. Then, add the whole number and the fraction to form mixed number. So, ito ang mga rules on how we are going to subtract the mixed numbers. Okay, for the activity number 3, you're going to answer the what cologne does angels use. So, para masagutan nyo kung ano ang cologne na ginagamit ng mga anghel, kailangan nyo sagutan ang riddle na merong mga number dyan at ang corresponding na answer ay merong letter. Example, sa so number 1, 2 third minus 1 fourth. Halimbawa, halimbawa lang kung ang sagot nito ay 7 twelfth. Hanapin nyo sa key box at ang 7 twelfth ay letter C. Itong letter C ngayon ay isulat nyo doon sa blank 
over ay uh, above number one para ma- ma- mabuo natin yung words na magiging sagot sa riddle na kung ano ang kulon ng mga angel. So merong 10 items ito, lahat ng sagot nyo ay hanapin ninyo at ilagay nyo ang letter doon sa corresponding number na nasa taas. Now, I want to test what you have learned. So, you have to give the process or steps. So, isulat ninyo kung ano ba yung steps at ang proseso sa pagsagot nito. Number one, how to subtract the similar fraction. Paano ba natin i-did this, isa subtract ang mga dissimilar fraction? Number two, how to subtract mixed numbers. So, ang sagot na yan ay isulat ninyo sa notebook. For the activity 5, you have to use fraction strips to illustrate your answer. So, gawan nyo ng fraction strips. Ito na. Queen spends 3 fifths of an hour studying and spends 4 tenths of an hour at the computer. How much less time does Queen spend at the computer compared to studying? So, present your answer using the fraction strips. Situation number 2. Pancake recipe needs two and two-third cup of flour and one and one-half cup of butter. How many more cups of flour than cups of butter do the pancake recipe need? Again, present your answer using the fraction strips. Okay, for your assessment, you have to perform the indicated operation at multiple choice po ito. So, you have to answer number 1 up to number 7 and for number 8 to number 10, ay kayo ang magsusolve at it is uh, for you to show the solution. Write your answers in your notebook and do not write anything in your module. So, this is number 5, number 6, number 7. And for number eight to, number, numbers 8 to 10, you have to evaluate the fraction and show your complete solution. Get ready! Additional activities, activity number 6. Why could a jellyfish not tell a lie? So, subtract the fraction below, match each answer to the letter, in the key box, then write the letter in the space above its problem number to find the number to the riddle. So, may mga numbers dyan. Kung anong sagot sa number na yan, hanapin nyo doon sa key box. Kung ano ang letter na nandun, isulat nyo sa taas ng number. Okay? Very good. So, this is the key box of the problem na kailangan nating isolve. So, natapos na ulit ang isa na namang session natin sa ating module. Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para mas marami pa tayong matututunan sa susunod na mga video. This is Sir Alan Madino. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you all.